B. Yet, chatbots are disembodied conversational agents, as they mainly interact with customers via messaging-based interfaces through verbal and non-verbal cues, allowing a real-time dialogue through primarily text input, but omitting physical and dynamic representations, except for the typical static profile picture. Besides two exceptions that focused on verbal features, to the best of our knowledge, no other studies have directly targeted verbal features to extend past research on embodied agents. In particular, the term compliance refers to a particular kind of response to a particular kind of communication, like a request. And the request can be either explicit, such as asking for a donation in a door-to-door -door campaign, or implicit, such as a political advertisement that endorses a candidate without directly urging a vote, for example. Nevertheless, in all situations, the targeted individual realizes that he or she is addressed and prompted to respond in a desired way. Compliance research has devoted its efforts on various compliance techniques, such as the that's not all technique, the disrupt then reframe technique, during the face technique, and front in the door. Foot in the door, that's what I meant. One of the most researched and applied compliance, the foot in the door technique, seems specifically well suited for chatbot interactions. The first experimental demonstration of the technique dates back to 1966, in which a team of psychologists called housewives to ask some questions. Would you like to be psychoanalyzed? Was not of this questions, you probably would have said no to this, to take part of this experiment, um, you know, to avoid being as direct as an experimentalist like this, some set of different kind of questions might be asked to figure it out what would be possible in terms of the performance of several different techniques, in particular the foot in the door technique that, well, seems to be the appropriate one to implement if you are a salesperson using, for example, a chatbot. But which questions did they ask?